Hi everybody, I am the Bronx City. Today I am in the Candy Cane house and we are gonna be focusing on the roses. They are like fully blooming, they look so beautiful and I just thought that we should dedicate a video to the roses. We start at the front of the property but this time I thought that I would change things up and we start from the back of the property and make our way up to the First front. planter, we have two different types of roses. We have this one. They are small and frilly. They look really, really beautiful. I'm sorry, it rained yesterday so everything is looking a little tattered but I love it. It lets out so many flowers throughout the whole entire summer. It really doesn't stop. It's gonna look like this throughout the whole summer. It's really, rose really- that is on the side of um, this rose. They're in the same planter together. This one lets out a big pinkish rose. It starts off as like a white cream color and then it moves over to a pink. It is a taller rose. It's high up. This is, I think, a trailing rose. It's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. I wish I knew the names of these because then I could recommend them it to you guys. It might be hard to make the distinction because I have my mulberry tree in the back and I do plan on cutting the mulberry in a specific way so that it doesn't interfere with the light that comes to this orange creamy rose. Really, really pretty. And they start off like a pinkish kind of and then they move their way over to an orange. They're really, really beautiful. Look at how, and they're so full. I love how tight and full they are. Really, really pretty. And they also let off a lot. So there's gonna be a lot more to come, as you can see right there. Really, really beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And you see the pink inside? So pretty. Like your average red rose. Um, I'm having a little trouble because there's honeysuckle that hasn't invaded this rose. I have to find a way to see where the actual honeysuckle so I have to find a way to see where the honeysuckle root is so then I can pull it out um, honeysuckle is cool you could take this take it just like that I just took the sugar out of that that was really good um, this is a really nice rose really pretty. gorgeous and I love that it usually sets off in threes so they're really, really pretty. When it, like, if this was something you wanted to pick and add into a bouquet, this would be really, really pretty because it just comes off with three flowers almost every time. Another example, this is the rose and then this is one on the side and another one that's gonna come out, three roses. Really, really pretty, I love this rose. It doesn't smell like anything. Yeah, this has though. to be my most favorite rose. It has the best smell in the world. Like, it is so fragrant oh my gosh i don't i can't even like oh my gosh this is it smells so good it kind of has like a lavender-esque smell to it like lavender with i don't know what with hopes and dreams and some types of sweet sugar oh it's like oh it's like a lavender and lemon type of smell it's, oh my god it has like a citrus hint to it it smells rose. so good it is a purple rose it's really 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 pretty i'm gonna try and propagate this because it is my favorite rose it's it's beautiful it has the best smell i love it I have like I a it. row of roses i need to do a lot of weeding so that the roses can get way more established than they used to be i cut down that tree so it could give more light i cut down this tree so that it can get more light over here um yeah i've been trying my best but this rose finally let out its first rose it let out its first flower it's been in this ground for like four years already first flower over here we have another one it had a rose on it and it got spent from the rain over here more pink roses i'm very proud of these because i took out time to cut all of this back these are all of the house plants we have aloe we have spider plants aloe this lets off a beautiful hanging flower i forgot the name of it it looks like an alien flower beautiful more spider plants more spider plants um over here we have another trailing rose it is a pink rose as well i'm going to show you from the other side so right here this is how tall it is it caps up over there it's about I'm five feet, so I think that's like seven feet, eight feet tall right there. And then we have this right here. These are the pretty pink roses. In the house, we have this rose right here. It's really, really beautiful. This is like one of the most aesthetically pleasing roses that I have. I really it looks, like it. It usually gets a lot bigger. 
and they vary in colors some come out really really pink and some come out a little bit more orange and then they move over to pink these start off as like an orange and then move over to a pink a really beautiful rose of the house we have all of these roses coming in i'm trying to train them to go across this some are up and i have to train them before they get hard and woody and right here we have one of the biggest roses on the property really really big inside it has like white in it very gorgeous beautiful beautiful roses they just have a tendency to hang and droop but they still catch your eye and there goes my hydrangeas as you can see in the middle they're gonna start letting out their little flowers soon everything is looking very very nice i'm very pleased with all of the roses and how they're looking guys so i am the bronx hippie this has been an update on the roses i hope that you liked it um oh you know what i'll actually give you guys a little extra and i'll show you guys my health path and the tomatoes that i have, I have four there. tomatoes planted here back here it's like a mess because i'm letting all of my flowers die back and then i'm gonna come and cut everything but i wanted to give my um tulips a chance to die back properly so that the bulbs could get enough energy for next year i planted three tomatoes here two of them i mean four tomatoes here two of them are determinate tomatoes and the other two aren't i know i have an ox heart i have a cherry 100 i have a yellow tomato and another something called a mountain man tomato so here's my first tomato here this is how i have it this is the second tomato right here third tomato is like slightly stunted even though it did start off as one of the smallest plants so i can't expect too much i guess I'm trying to take out all the blades of grass i don't know what this plant is um and that is the third tomato right here i have been trying i never really do the armpits on these but i've been trying here to go in and like you see this right there and to take out the suckers i've been i've never tried to take out suckers before but i'm doing it this year so i'll let you guys know how the suckers go on my hell path um i really garden here mostly for my neighbors my neighbors like to pass by and look at the tomatoes and grab some and pick some so it's kind of like a you pick for my neighborhood um collard yeah. green here and a collard green here and that's basically my little front yard Oh yeah, and a little, a little onion I'm letting go to flower. Like I was saying, I'm the Bronx Hippie. This is the Candy Cane House. I hope that you enjoyed the video update on the roses specifically. I thought that it would be nice to highlight them. They do bring me a lot of joy. And I think that that's something that we need to implement into our gardens and our food forest. More beauty. It doesn't only have to be edibles. Beautiful things make you want to visit the garden just as much as fruits and vegetables. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this update and we will be back with another video soon.